Είμαστε όλοι έτοιμοι. Είμαστε λίγο πιο κοντά. Τώρα ένα λεπτό δεν έχει. Εδώ είναι. Ήταν η χαρά μα σήμερα να υποδεχτούμε στον χώρο των σφαγείων που πλέον λέγεται ο χώρο το Διεθνέ Κέντρο Ψηφιακού Μετασχηματισμού και Ψηφιακών Δεξιοτήτων. Όταν είχαμε συζητήσει μαζί του πριν από κάποιου μήνε, αν θυμάμαι καλά, ήταν τον Οκτώβριο του 2019, ήταν απλώ ένα project. Σήμερα χαιρόμαστε πολύ που τον υποδεχόμαστε στην υλοποίηση αυτού του τόσο σημαντικού σχεδίου για την πόλη μας, για τη χώρα μας, για τα Βαλκάνια. Στόχος μας είναι να δουλέψει άμεσα και μπορώ να σας πω ότι την ερχόμενη πέμπτη θα γενιαστεί με τα πρώτα μαθήματα ρομποτικής για μαθητές. Μαθητές που δουλεύουν, βρίσκονται αυτή τη στιγμή σε σχολεία τα οποία τα φιλοξενούν για τη γονείς που εργάζονται, θα έχουν το δικαίωμα συμμετοχής σε μαθήματα ρομποτικής και αυτό είναι το πρώτο ξεκίνημα παράλληλα με σεμινάρια που θα δοθούν για ανέργους συμπολίτες μας. Αυτό είναι το ξεκίνημα μιας δράσης προσπάθειας που γίνεται εδώ, η οποία μεταφέρει το ψηφιακό ενδιαφέρον, μεταφέρει το αναπτυξιακό ενδιαφέρον στην πόλη μας, στη Δυτική Θεσσαλονίκη. Σας ευχαριστώ. Um, it's hard to believe he's only been in office for nine months, um, given all that's been accomplished. I'm especially glad that we're able to meet today at this Cisco Technology Center. Uh, as you all know, the embassy has put a lot of focus over the years on our work with things like digital skills, mentoring, supporting the Greek startup sector. Um, and we are incredibly proud of the work that Cisco has done with the municipality. I want to congratulate the mayor and the prime minister on getting this from concept to, re to reality so quickly. Uh, we, are, we as the U.S. government are going to remain engaged, helping to lift up the narrative of both Thessaloniki's emergence as an important technology hub in southeastern Europe, for Greece and the Western Balkans. And it's not just Cisco, it's Deloitte, it's Pfizer, it's all of our companies that are here, leveraging the large student population, the human capital, and also the supportive government environment. Um, I also want to congratulate Cisco on their success in moving this from concept to reality so quickly. Cisco is one of the American technology companies like Microsoft, like Google, that has really stepped up to the plate, raised its game to support the Greek government's successful response to the coronavirus pandemic, working with the Ministry of Digital Policy in this remarkable digital transformation that the Greek state has accomplished over the past four or five months. Uh, and we're very excited about the platform that this center will provide for future programming and partnership with the American Embassy and with our NGO partners, groups like Foundation and Social Inoff that have worked with Greek young people uh, to demonstrate uh, the capacity that, Greek, that Greece has uh, to be an important player in the Southeastern Europe um, technology space. Last point I will make, um, I'm very proud of the fact that we're doing this in Thessaloniki because it builds on something we began two years ago with the American Pavilion at the Thessaloniki International Fair, where Cisco and so many of our other technology companies played a leading role along with the Ministry of Digital Policy. Um, and uh, it's wonderful when you're able to plant these seeds and see them actually grow into something. So, so thank you to Cisco, and thank you, of course, to Greg Flager, our departing Consul General, who, who began his tenure um, with the Thessaloniki International Fair and leaves a fantastic legacy for his 